Yes, again, my breakfast, a smoothie of some pretty varieties of fruits making a beautiful color of a smoothie. This is banana, papaya, mango, lemon juice, coconut sugar, sprouts. And that's it. Happy breakfast, good and dog. Okay, you've seen it before, but it's been a little while. I got a case of papayas. So it's about 21 papayas. The deal is usually $10. Isn't that lovely? And they're all organic. Oh, breathe. I've been eating jackfruit. This is jackfruit. It's been processed out of the, you know, the bumpy, the big bumpy fruit. These are like jackfruit fruit pieces. You could also call them pods. My friend, um, brought me over this really nice big bag of it. It's got a lot of weight on it. Oh, they're so sweet and tangy and delicious and fruity and filled with so many flavors. Um, I just wanted to document my jackfruit. Ha ha ha. This pretty plant growing pretty wild is lemongrass. This is like a lemongrass stick. And even just touching it and rubbing your fingers on it now I smell like lemongrass, okay? And over here, it's the beginning of a banana stalk. Banana flower, banana stalk. It's a baby, it's just getting started. And here's my dinner. It's a coconut curry with cauliflower and onions and tofu and pineapple set aside next to some jasmine rice. So, this fruit right here, let me show you what it looks like on the outside. Yeah, and it's kind of shaped like a heart, too. Yeah, what fruit is this, you may ask? This tropical fruit, indeed. Um, it is called a soursop. I only have a piece of it. It was probably way bigger down to there. But yeah, to me, it tastes like lemonade. And this fruit is like kind of fleshy, you know, and it, it comes off in like little like, you know, strippy bits and strings and kind of like that, you know, and um, it's really sweet, it's really delicious, it's tangy, plant the seeds, yeah, I just wanted to show you the soursop fruit, it's freaking delicious, so to me, I would liken it to lemonade, okay, it's in the Chirimoya family as well. So, thanks for watching. Well, guten tag. I have in here papayas, bananas, blueberries, some sprouts, some lemon juice, and some coconut sugar and water. It's pretty, 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 and it's pretty, pretty yummy. Hey lovelies, here's my dinner. I'm doing this uh, festive chip and dip thing, so I have all these organic, oil-free corn tortillas, and I have over here some Ethiopian spiced lentils and jasmine rice. I have some guacamole, I have some corn, and I have some salsa, which is predominating in cilantro and I'll be building tostadas as well but mainly just grabbing chips and dipping and you know the plate is gonna get pretty full pretty soon but I just thought I would show you my din dins thanks for watching wolves it smells extremely aromatic over here because of the lemon blossoms it smells extremely fragrant over here yeah, these are baby lemons, and this is a fully grown lemon, ready for harvest. Focus? Focus. <laughs> and here's some more lemons. For those of you who haven't seen any lemon trees growing specifically in the Hawaiian Islands, <laughs> yeah, 
pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah, there's some baby ones right there, too. It's piping hot in this hot sun. Durr. Oh, yeah. Here, lemon blossoms. They smell amazing. And in this hot sun, they smell even more amplified. It's just hot. They bring out the aroma. Oh, yeah, look at the bee. Hello, love. <laughs> This is a beautiful moment in nature. Oh my goodness gracious. Hello bees. <laughs> oh, how gorgeous. Remember that pesto I made in my making pesto video? The one where I also had a hummus pesto wrap? Yeah, well, I added it to some noodles. It's really, really good. And here is my lunch, which is seven. Wonderful pesto pasta with tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, the sugar plum cherry tomatoes, um, the sugar plum cherry tomatoes. Ah, ha, 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 ha. so hot out. That's why I love to walk under trees barefoot. Hey look, I'm going to show you a cherry. Here's a Suriname cherry. Focus. Can you see that pretty good? Okay, from the standpoint of the pots, here's my dinner. A fresh pot of fluffy, soft, steamy jasmine rice. And here is just pretty much teriyaki sauce with broccoli and baked tofu. And this is a baby white pineapple growing. It is far from, you know, harvest time. Uh, but this is how it looks when it's starting off. You plant the crown. And then two years later, the crown turns into this, and the fruit comes out. But these are due in August. These are seasonally ready in August. The nature show hosted me embarks upon this soursop tree. Looky here. <laughs> this dangling soursop fruit. Ugh, look at this. It's kind of sexual looking <laughs> in a phallic type of a way, but a lot of fruit is. A lot of fruit definitely says, hey, these are good for the health of your genitals. Haven't you ever seen papayas that look like yonis and bananas that look like the obvious phallic? Well, this sour sop is not left out. Hmm. Just taking a look and admiring it. For those of you who haven't seen much tropical fruit, here's some. This is in the Cherimoya family as well. Oh look, here's a smaller one. These are far from ripe, but um, quite beautiful to watch them as they ripen. Oh look at the ants. Yep, yeah, there's more in the trees. Just wanted to give some, some soursop scenery. Yeah, yeah, dangle, 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 tea.